Hey everybody, happy Homebrew Wednesday. I want to uh, do a little something today instead of just sitting in front of a camera um, just yakking and showing photos and stuff and a little bit of video. Um, this Wednesday we are going to do a yeast starter and I wanted to uh, start uh, the night before and get the yeast starter completed so that we got some nice nice healthy yeast to throw into the throw into the wort and make some beer so all right so as you can see I always have to have paper towels um, measuring cup Meyer flask I have a small one works awesome I don't need a big one I'm not doing real big brews yet so I don't have to really worry about it uh, a stopper just temporarily have that I'll put foil on it after I'm done um, has some star sand and I got a funnel and I have the DME it's just light DME I'm going to use to let the yeast munch on and then uh, at the end I'll be uh, putting the yeast in and I'll show you that when the time comes so stay tuned okay so at this point um, what I usually do is on the on the flask I'll fill it up to 600 mil milliliters that's a little over two cups which is perfect for this flask my stir bar if it if uh, the way I have my stir plate set up sometimes it's a little it's a little rough uh, keeping it going it'll throw it off or whatever depending on the speed but I go ahead and fill it up with hot tap water so you don't have to sit there and wait for it to boil forever with cold water but I fill it up to the 600 mil and then go ahead and uh, dump it in a saucepan and since I don't have a gas stove if I had a gas stove, I'd be doing this on the flame, but I go ahead and do it in uh, in a pot on the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and pan around here. In the saucepan, I already had some water I put in here, so I'm getting this brought up to a boil. And right bef about right now, I need to start putting in uh, the dry malt extract. Now this. Dry malt extract is stickier than all get out. This, but when the steam hits it, it just clumps right up. So uh, make sure that when you're dealing with the DME, that everything is absolutely dry when you're measuring it out. I usually do about you know, a cup to the amount of water I have in here. So let me get that measured out. Okay, so let me get some skizzers. Measure out a cup here, approximately. A little bit more, it can be a little, little less. The reason why you don't want to use uh, corn sugar for this is that um, the yeast need to thrive on um, non simple sugars. We need to have it munch on the on non simple sugars. Okay, so I, this is a boil. I'm going to go ahead and um, take it off the heat for here for a minute and get a spoon. Yeah. Go ahead and dump it in a little by little. It clumps up. You don't want to make a mess of this. And if you notice, I want to show you. See that? I don't think you can. Oop, just lost the spoon. I'm going to be fishing the spoon out. Anyway, you see how the DME just clumps? It's crazy, man. All right, I gotta get another spoon. I need a spoon to get my spoon. So, come on, buddy. Can't be that hard. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be hotter than hell. It goes in there. All right, so, move this back over, back on the heat. You need to get it up to a boil, and you gotta remember that, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. One thing you gotta remember is, this is just like making a, a regular beer. The, this is wort right now. Um, this is going to have a hot break and it will foam up on you. So you really got to watch it when it comes up to the boil. Get the spoon cleaned off here. That in there. Just my hand off, sticky mess. And I'm going to take this. 
get uh, the DME off my measuring cup. I don't like wasting it. This stuff's expensive. A pound of DME is $6. It's not cheap. That, uh, that bag will make quite a few starters. What I do is I just go ahead and seal it back up in, uh, in a big Ziploc bag. See a bit better here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, see how it's that's called a hot break, man. See how the, the foaming up? Just take it on and off. Woo, see, that's a boil over. Should have turned it down first, but oh, you know. What a mess. What a nice little mess to clean up now. And I'll get it while it's hot too, so let me put him down. I'm going to pause you for a minute. There we go. Doesn't take much for this stuff to boil over, man. Okay, here we go again. Just take your time with it. What I usually do is I'll, uh, I won't boil this for long. All I want to do is kill the bugs. So I probably go till the hot breaks over and then maybe a minute past it. We'll see. It depends. I do it. It depends on how you feel. Right now it's uh, still wanting to creep up on me. Yeah, we're getting some complex sugars put together here, so uh, our yeast will get a good start. Then when you pitch it into uh, pitch it into your wort when you're done with your your brew, your yeasts are healthy. They've multiplied. So you have more than what you started with, and they're kicking ass, ready to convert all the luscious sugars in your word into into your alcohol and your CO2. So we're almost there. All right. I think we've killed all the bugs. I've been doing this for a little over five minutes. We're past the hot break. So yeah, looking good, isn't it? So I always love this smell. And then when you add the hops in the beer, it's even better. So, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to the flask and then we'll start cooling this baby off. So I'm going to turn the heat off on the stove and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, since we're dealing with the hot liquids, I'm going to do it in the sink here. Okay, and you can pour this directly into the flask because these flasks are made for extreme temperature changes. So that in there. Need something to grab it with so I can put it back on the towel there. Okay. Now it's still hot as hell so I don't have to worry about bugs at the moment. As soon as I start cooling it, I will, so. I'll be with you in a minute. I did not forget about you, I swear. Okay, so right now I'm getting water going, cool water, and I need to get some foil. That's what I'm going to use here in a few minutes. Right now I'm just going to use the stopper. It's got the hole in it so uh, the air can expand out. And then I just want to make it where I'm not splashing water into this. So I'm just going to put her in here for now. 
and I will add ice here in a minute, or not, depending on how uh, how fast. I shouldn't have to put any shouldn't have to put any uh, ice in here. It'll cool off pretty quick. So as soon as this is up, and I'll go ahead and uh, as soon as the water level is up, I'm going to start swirling this last and start getting the work cooled down and I'll be right back with you. So I'll see you when uh, I'll see you when this thing's cooled off. Be right back. All right, we're almost there. I'm gonna do now. It's my thermometer. No, wash it. sanitize it so you got to treat this just like a regular brew that you're doing you don't want to introduce any uh, any crap bugs into your uh, to your brew so drain that off and then I have star sand here and spray it get the electronics wet and then with um, since it's down to almost pitching temperature, I'm really careful with sanitation now. So spray the bottle down, the bung. Okay. What I'm gonna do? You can get it where you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna tip this back. Get it in there and see what the temp got. So right now we're a little over 80 degrees, so just a little bit longer. Okay. Check everything is sanitized like crazy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna swirl this while cupping or putting the finger over the thing. So. Try this again. I even try not to breathe on it. All right, so right now we're at 79 degrees. So at this point, um, um, I'm going to take the foil sanitize it, let it set for a minute. I've already done it once, I just want to make sure it's all good. And then I'm going to replace the bung with the foil because the whole idea is to let the CO2 out and not let any bugs in. So you're going to have a full layer of, uh, of CO2 on top of here as the yeast are doing their thing. So bung off, foil on, I'm going to go put this down on the stir plate and I will see you there. When it comes to yeast, I do I try and do a starter for all of them. Either it be um, dry yeast or the yeast in the vials. 
I'm, right now I'm sanitizing scissors, the yeast packet, and my stir bar. So right now, make sure everything is sprayed. I'm going to put my stir bar in here, but I want to be careful. I don't want to just drop it in, so here we go. Ready to go. Make sure everything is sanitized. Big time. I don't take any chances. Okay. All right. Put him right in there. Let's get a little mix in here. Wake them babies up. For a minute while I go get my stir plate and get it set up and put some of this stuff away here. Okay, I don't have a lot of light in here, so let's see what we can see. So, as you can, we're getting this going now. So, we will check back later on, and the yeast should be pretty, uh, pretty wet and uh, starting to do their thing. So we're waking the babies up and we want them to multiply and have a good time in there. So we'll check back in later. See you later guys, bye. Just to recap, um, the starter is going to go all night long and while it's doing that you want to keep it in, uh, if, if you got a room that's in the low 70s, high 60s, that's that's the best you know environment you want and you want to keep them dark. I have, uh, doors, on, I have doors on my uh, closet there that I'll shut in, I mean virtually no lights really in there, nice and dark. And the yeast just start eating up all the sugars, the complex sugars, and everything gets everything gets uh, ready for tomorrow. So as soon as I get the all grain done, um, we'll go ahead and pitch the yeast in there. And they're like I said before, they'll be ripping, roaring, ready to go, and healthy as healthy as healthy yeast can get. So. Um, that should do it for uh, for this. Um, let's see where to put it. Forgot to show you my homebrew. Um, gotta have a homebrew while you're making homebrew, and this is part of making homebrew, so I'm having a homebrew. So happy homebrew Wednesday, y'all. Have a good evening. Remember, rock on. Later. Mm-mm-mm. Yummy. Homemade's better. Later.